Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Deus Ex. We're on the trail of the last container of Ambrosia. And, and also trying to figure out what the fuck is up with our, with the whole also trying to figure out what the fuck is up with all this sketchy stuff surrounding our brother Paul. Well, to be fair, it's entirely possible that it's just that the, the Paul that they're talking about is a different Paul entirely. It's a pretty common name. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. I need to use these more often. Scanning area. Conventional wisdom would would have it that the most common is like you know John or whatever. But conventional wisdom is often wrong. So. I have... Is that key to this? Yes. Okay. Although, again, I should really be using those lockpicks more often. I've gone a bit too far in conserving them. Good thing I had to drop one to pick up a body. Let's see. I don't think I have the codes to this. Disabled those two cameras outside. Well, that's not very useful. It does allow me to go around this area pretty safely, but the only reason I was going around this area was to get into there, so. Yeah. Now, it is actually possible to get on top of these crates. I mean, here you could just stack a couple of stuff here, and there's also some. But that would be a waste of time because there's some ladders or over that away. But it would also be a waste of time because getting on top of those crates is actually a trap that will kill you. You'd think it would make it easier to avoid the bots or whatever, but it doesn't. Quite the opposite, actually. It makes it way easier for them to see you. Because unfortunately, while in real life nobody ever looks up, the same is not the, not true in Deus Ex, at least not for the bots. More binoculars. Let me guess. More tabling these cameras. I guess the one advantage that being up on those things gives you is that it makes it easier for you to see the ball. Hmm. I've already seen that one, I think. Before they see you, you know. That's not very helpful when they can very easily see you, too. Oh well. Ooh, yes, and yet more binoculars. 
I don't know why I've started collecting these. Because I can, I suppose. You know, I'm sure ice stands for something in this world. Uh, the you know, the ice. But I can also guarantee you that even in universe, the real reason why I they called it they they called it whatever that acronym stands for is just so that the acronym would spell out ice. But for a little pun on icebreaker. That happens a lot. I mean, most famously, of course, the Patriot Act. I don't... Do you even rem Do you even know what the fucking Patriot Act was? It's hard to remember, it, like, what it actually s stood for. Like, not on a metaphorical level, like, literally what the acronym stood for. Because I don't. I don't think anyone fucking does. Uh, recoil, do I Whatever. Actually, hang on. Why don't I stack the thermopic camo on the thermopic camo? That would be smart. Did I hack into this? I forget now. Well, it should be... Yeah, okay. There would be some green gone if I had. Okay. Died. There we go. Should have free reign over this area. What the heck is up with this place? Hmm. Do I get in there? There's certainly stuff in there, although I'm not certain it's actually useful stuff. There's... Too heavy to lift. Oh, to the data cube. Damn it. Hi. Hmm. Is there any way? Like, hang on. Does it look like there's any way to get in here from the other way? I don't think so. I don't put. I doubt there's going to be anything in there that's really that fantastic, phantasmagorical. But damn it, I'm curious. All right, I'll be back in a jiffy. Let's figure this out. Okay, I'm up here. Should just be a hop, skip, and a jump, and. What the heck is this? Okay. And now, what the fuck is this? Oh, I've gotten out of the map. I, uh... I don't think I was supposed to do that. It's just a funny feeling I've gotten. <laughs> I don't know why. Whoops. Well, uh, shit. And we're going to Invincible Malls. Okay, let's go back. Perhaps a bit too much imagination. Alright. 
Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, hang on. I didn't take, actually take any damage. It just drained my... Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're here. We're queer. Flip. Pulse grenade. Me. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, if I had just looked up, I could have seen... Oh, damn it. Um. Okay. Huh. Well, this is weird. Okay. I guess... Space is warped and time is bendable then, okay. Sure, why not? Goggles, right. Okay then. That was real weird, but hey, it worked. Yeah. Okay. That was real weird, but that was real weird, but it worked. All right, now there we go. All of that work for what was it? A single M uh, EMP grenade and a flip upgrade that I don't even care about. Whatever. That was... Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Okay then. Let's actually move on and start doing something productive. Let's see, where does this go? To... Death, apparently. Okay, I don't think that elevator is coming. Okay then. Let's go do, go do something productive somewhere else. Right here. No! That's a tad less convenient. Hopefully they don't hear me very loudly though. Let's go with this crate. Alright. And... Accuracy modification. Yay. Nice. 69% accuracy. Now what's this one? Scanning area. 
Uh, jack shit, that's what. Oh, wait, hang on. Ow. Nope. Wow, it's really easy to misjudge those jumps. Alright. Multi tool and lockpick, both of which I have no room for. God damn it. You know what? The whole thing, like, arbitrary stack limits and shit like that is just stupid to begin with. Like. Like the whole inventory Tetris thing with the stacks and such. Why should one. Uh, why should one lamb. One gas grenade and one electromagnetic grenade taking take three times the space as th as ten lambs. That's absurd. But it's the norm for some reason. Like I can accept that you know, absurdities in game design, but why is this just the expected thing? So yeah, that's my official thoughts of the matter. Stacks are stupid. I hate that you can't jump with these crates. Or that, and that there's no real way to reliably put them down quietly. Honestly, the more I play Deus Ex, the more I miss the gameplay of Thief. There's so many things that that game did right that Deus Ex just does wrong or doesn't do at all. <sighs> and it's not like Thief iterated on Deus Ex. Thief came out a year and a half or so before Deus Ex. Also, they didn't hear that, but they heard me jump earlier. Whatever. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? God damn it. Of course. Okay. Hmm. Problem is it's just no good way to get down. Quietly. Isn't very u that useful because there's no good way to get down quietly. I I you what? Are you serious? There was literally no sound. I went the I went down the smallest fucking distance on the quietest fucking surface, and you're like, huh, what? I heard something. Clearly, there's an intruder. La 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 la. The fuck was that? Stealthiness is in every conceivable way a massive downgrade from, say, thieves. What? What the fuck? 
In what world? In what fucking world? Is that even slightly reasonable? Me lock picking at single doors that is like so fucking loud it alerts everyone in the building and instantly turns on the alarm. There's nothing I can do here that won't immediately immediately alert everyone in the building. What is this bullshit? I know I heard something. And why do I keep fidgeting around like that? What is this garbage? Sure, why not? Ooh. Okay, there we go. Nano key ring. <sighs> why is the sound of lock picking, which is like one of the quietest fucking sounds in the game, enough to alert everyone in the building instantly? And it's not even reliable either. There's so many times where I've been lock picking, like. In places where they sh should be able to hear me, but they don't. It's just. It just seems to just randomly decide whether or not it alerts people or not. <laughs> just like it sometimes just randomly decides whether or not I can knock people out, even when I have the damage and everything. Not to mention, the game basically requires you to have. Fuse together with the backside of the enemy just for it to con just for it to maybe consider you close enough for it to deal the backstab damage. I hate to keep harping on this. Wait, no, I don't. I uh, I love to keep harping on this. Thief did this a million times better, just like the sound system and the fucking shadow system and basically every stealth system in this game. Thief did better. And not even slightly better, but way better. What? What are you doing? Jump, you stupid bastard! Every time I turn it on, it just randomly starts fidgeting around like a goddamn moron. Okay. No. Juan asked me for the hair code, Decker, so it's 5914. Tell Young not to get his ass shot off. You know how I feel about him. And I will kill you if something happens. Take care, Aaron. No. Uh, and where the. Hang on, what was the code that, uh, the ring that we got? Security tower key. Oh. Okay, so that was useless. Alright then. Lamp. <laughs> okay then. I traded one thing I was ma one thing of a resource I maxed out on for another thing that I maxed out on. Great. Six darts. Don't care. Let's sell multi tool. No. Well, that was a waste of time. Well, no, I got the key to the code to the hangar, so no, it wasn't a waste of time. Then again, I could have gotten that before if I bothered. Okay. So is this. 5, 9, 1, 4. Alright. Sweet. Okay. Finally infiltrated the hangar. And oh! It looks like our brother Paul 
has already done so as well. All right, excellent. Then we can at last get some fucking answers out of him. Next time. Because, yep, I'm cliffhangering you motherfuckers. Because I, because fuck you. <laughs> so, until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for certain reasons subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers!